Hello and welcome to Bird Barrier. My name is Michael Gallion, and today we are going to talk about solving roof returns. Roof returns are a section of roof that birds love to nest in. If we take a look at these photos here, uh, we can see exactly the area that causes a lot of problems for many people in pest control that are trying to solve these areas. Birds will nest in the circled yellow areas because they have overhead protection. If we look closer at these roof returns, sometimes in the darkest recess area, they actually have access to the attic. So we have to first rule out whether or not there is access to the attic. If there is access to the attic and birds are getting in there, then well, of course we have to go and from the inside and work our way out, make sure the birds are out of there. But uh, if they are not getting all the way through there and it does not have access, then we still have to uh, limit their access to the deepest area. One thing that we don't want to do is use bird spikes. Don't use bird spikes on any area like this. We're talking about high pressure areas. PVC coated mesh and optical gel is the best way to solve the roof return. When you do uh, use those tools properly, we're going to see results like this. This is a bird that refused to place its feet back into the cavity and was actually hanging on the wall for a little bit to try to get a view of whether or not it could reclaim the nesting area that was treated using PVC coated mesh and optical gel properly. Sometimes the optical gel disc can be installed and the installer or the homeowner may not realize that there is a lot more science to what they're doing than just laying out discs in a certain area like this. We're going to use this example to show you what can go wrong if we don't follow the instructions exactly and understand fully what's going on in these roof return areas. Now this to the average eye looks like a pretty clean job. They've done a great job of cleaning up. I am a little concerned when I see how wet the tiles are that the discs were glued onto such wet tile. That is going to uh, possibly cause the disc to come loose or the birds will be able to knock them loose and they will try. Birds will come in and try to reclaim their area and they will try to move the disc if they can. If we watch this example video here, you're going to see exactly what can happen if we don't do this 100% correct. These birds that were nesting, they had eggs, they had you know offspring up in there before they were removed, which these particular birds, you can remove them. There's no problem with that you know, because they're not protected. They create a real danger. And the, the mating pair, although they were at first repelled, their biological pressure to reclaim their nesting area is going to push them into exploring the area. They may even risk getting into the, the disc and go back up into this cavity. Now, when they go up into that cavity, you can see that they're going to explore and see how far up into that cavity the disc and the treatment actually went. Now look again at this particular slide because this yellow circle disc is the deepest disc that was used for this. In reality, the six inch spacing was not followed properly. Uh, you have to use a much tighter pattern in order to keep the birds from going up into the lanes or the low parts. If we, uh, we want to make sure that they can't get up in there. Otherwise, here's that disc again after about a month where the bird has made an attempt to reclaim by putting droppings over the disc. If we look at the red area, that remained untreated. And that red area was actually the most critical part of the roof return. This is the deepest recess where the bird was nesting. And this is where you have to focus your attention. This one did not actually have attic access through it, but it was a very deep part where the installer just couldn't reach and just uh, more or less uh, just ignored that area. Now, if we look at this slide here, the idea is to screen off that deepest area using the PVC coated mesh. We also have pre-cut pieces of screen called exits. These are used for solar panels on top of Spanish tile roofs. That's another great tool that we have here at Bird Barrier. These tools are available. You can order these 
uh, through our website. But these are the basic tools that you're going to need. I'm going to give you a demonstration now on how to use these tools to solve this. And in the studio here, I have a mock-up of a roof return. And specifically, we're looking into the deepest cavity. If we look in, in behind the last tile there, this is an area where birds will love to get in there and actually try to nest. So we want to make sure we get uh, deep in here and look, make sure it doesn't go through, it doesn't have ventilation into the house. And we need to clean this area thoroughly, usually with a wet dry vac. We reach up in there and get all the loose debris out of here. Once we've cleaned this area thoroughly, then what we want to do is put in a screen into this area. Now, I've pre-cut a piece. You can cut this material in all different shapes, but ultimately you want to make sure you put at least a bend in, as I've done here. And then we just simply pressure fit this type of uh, screen piece that's been custom cut up into the area. Now, with enough bending and pressure, we push it up in there, it's gonna get wedged up in there, and that's all we need for now. We just need it to be wedged into place so that it will hold. But we're also then, once we get this in place, we're gonna use the, our barrier bond adhesive, and we're gonna put a few dabs of adhesive as a tack point, and that, within 24 hours, is gonna hold as good as a, a screw would hold this into place. It's gonna be a permanent hold on this area. Now, this alone isn't going to be enough. The birds are still going to have access into these areas. And if we take a look here, I've got a sample in the studio of an exit. This is a tool that I talked about where we've custom cut this to a particular shape that fits into Spanish tile situations. I'm going to take a couple of these into the lower gaps here where the birds would still have access, and I will, I will attach these to the main screen area here that I've created. And this is gonna completely block out the area properly. Once you get them in the right position, you can actually use zip ties. That's one way to zip tie these into place so that they're holding in place well. We would also then tack it in place in a few spots with the barrier bond. But I'm gonna show you here again in the studio, I've got an example of the tool that we use for solar uh, panel exclusion with the exit to attach this material using the exit onto the main screen, the main PVC mesh. And what this is is a special uh, hog ring tool that's used a lot for stealth net, of course, but we also use it for solar applications like this when we're using PVC mesh. And what I do is I use the, the tool and it's gonna actually attach a ring to hold these parts together. We're gonna to tack it in a few different places here and get a nice tight grip so that it's not gonna go anywhere. So you'll be able to hit this in a few places and this is gonna now attach the exit so that it won't, you know, won't easily come off and will stay up there for a long time. Um, that is the best method that we have available and a really great way to solve these. Now I'm gonna go back to the roof return example over here. And once we have this deepest recess put into place, of course, then we're going to put optical gel along the areas that we talked about beyond that we saw in the other photos. Any other areas where the birds are still getting overhead protection. If they're getting overhead protection, we have to treat that as a nesting area. So we want to make sure we then include the optical gel disc into those areas. That's basically it. You use screen, you use the optical gel, you're gonna keep birds from that nesting area. They're gonna relocate somewhere else. And this is the proper use of optical gel in junction with the screen. A couple more pointers on these. If we look at the uh, photo I have here, the birds will tend to move to other areas of the roof. And you know the best way to treat those is we can use a proper spacing of optical gel. We wanna clean that as well. You notice the outer ledges, the high points, those are the areas you want to treat. Here's another example for a dormer window. These are often places where birds will want shade or they'll take uh, you know, shelter in these places once they've been excluded from the roof return. So we'll see some secondary movement of the birds after we've done this solution. 
and it can just simply be solved using optical gel. So there you go. Some good advice on how to take care of these roof returns that are so problematic in bird control. And my name is Michael Gallion with Bird Barrier, and we will see you at the next video.